The Second Coming of Jesus Christ Toward the End of Times Christians and Muslims believe that Jesus Christ will return toward the end of times before the Day of Judgment. While the beliefs of Muslims and Christians regarding the return of Jesus Christ share some similarities, the details and definitions are very different. The arrival of Jesus Christ is one of the signs indicating the arrival of the Day of Judgment. Muslims believe Jesus Christ was neither crucified nor killed. Instead, he was raised by God in the heavens and is still alive today. Muslims believe Jesus Christ will return at the end of time, when the world is in dire need. It will be a time of many difficulties, trials, tribulations, corruption, evil, immorality, nudity, fornication, killing, violence, and earthquakes, when good deeds and acts will decrease. Jesus Christ will fight the false messiah, the Antichrist, a powerful figure of falsehood and temptation that will deceive many and gain a large following. Jesus Christ will defeat the false messiah in the battle of the great Armageddon, a battle which Christians also believe. Jesus Christ will return to complete his mission, which was left incomplete. The purpose of the return of Christ is to complete his mission and demonstrate that he, just like all prophets, preached and taught the worship of one God, to reunite the world under the rule of God. Jesus Christ will preach the true oneness of God as he has always done. He will not preach the Trinity, nor initiate a new religion. Instead, he will break the cross, figuratively or literally, to demonstrate to Christians that they were wrong to describe him as divine and the Son of God. He will further demonstrate to the Jews that he was never crucified. He will kill a pig to demonstrate that he never commanded his people to abandon God's laws. He will follow the teachings of the Holy Quran and the final prophet that came after him, Muhammad, peace be upon him. He will call all humanity to Islam. Jesus Christ will fight and kill the Antichrist, whom Muslims refer to as the Dajjal. He will lead the Muslims to victory against the oppressors, establishing peace and justice. Every person from the book, Christians and Jews living at the time, will eventually recognize and believe in Jesus Christ and embrace the faith of Islam, in which Jesus Christ will preach. Jesus Christ will eventually die a natural death, as do all humans. Today, there is an empty grave reserved for Jesus Christ in a special spot reserved by the Muslim community. He will be buried in the city of Medina, next to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, just as Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, commanded it. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, loved Jesus Christ and called him his brother. He stated that he was the closest one to him since Jesus Christ was the prophet right before him. According to the Holy Quran, God will ask Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, on the day of judgment, O Jesus, son of Mary, did you say to the people, Take me and my mother as deities besides Allah? Quran, chapter 5, verses 116 to 118. Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, will respond. He will say, Exalted are you. It was not for me to say that to which I have no right. If I had said it, you would have known it. You know what is within myself, and I do not know what is within yourself. Indeed, it is you who is knower of the unseen. I said not unto them except what you commanded me, to worship Allah my Lord and your Lord. And I was a witness over them as long as I was among them. But when you took me up, you were the observer over them. And you are, over all things, witness. If you should punish them, indeed they are your servants. But if you forgive them, indeed it is you who is the exalted in might, the wise. Quran, chapter 5, verses 116 to 118.